Week four, session one, is I Spy Game, and this one is amazing for language, and it's amazing for if you have students working on their sounds um, at the sentence level or in conversational speech, um, It's and it's a good carryover activity. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to print out using the chart. You'll print out whatever pages you need. Again, it comes in initial sounds, medial sounds, final sounds, and then language. And each student will get their own. So for example, if they're working on their medial P sound, this is what they'll use. And you go around the school and try to find these different items. Now why it's good for sentences and conversational speech is they have to, they can ask, you can have them ask people using their good sounds. Like, hey, do you have anything that's purple? or, and again, good for sentences. And as we're walking through the hallways, we talk about the different items. So they're saying their words many times within um, the one session, even though we're kind of up and moving and walking around. So we'll talk about different purple things. We'll talk about if they like apples, when we're looking for an apple, we'll talk about um, what kind of puppets they've ever seen, etc. Now, some of these aren't just nouns. Some of them are um, adjectives or verbs and you can have them demonstrate it. So sleepy, obviously you can't really find sleepy or maybe you can find somebody who is sleepy or they can show you um, what sleepy looks like or something find, finding something that's actually open or they can open something for you. So there's different, um, a variety of different things, but again, it's really fun. I use, I have the students use a clipboard and a little crayon or pencil and then just check it off when they find it. Now for the language sections, I just have them do a language task before they, or when they find that item.